I think I could safely say that I'm a custom dynamics addict. I've put several of their products on this 2017 Harley Davidson Street Glide Special, from Pro Beam headlights to the front and rear billet style turn signals. I've also put on the Magic Strobes and the Tri Bar. And these guys are getting lonely, so they needed a friend. And that's where this comes in right here. I'm going to install and give you my take on the Custom Dynamics Low Profile Amber and White Bat Wing Fairing Trim. You guys happy now? The package comes with two slim fairing strips, two AW converter harnesses, eight four inch wire ties, the adhesive primer to help put in the strips on the bike, and the tools you're going to need for this install aren't that many. All you're going to need is a half inch socket or wrench, you're going to need a T27 torque wrench or a torque bit, a rubbing alcohol, and this is the grease pencil that help you mark when you're putting this on just to make it easier. And there are many different Harley models with the Batwing fairing and all of them are on the Custom Dynamics website. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is take off these two half inch nuts that secure the turn signal. And that's where your ratchet comes in. Once you get the nuts off, put them in a good spot so you don't lose them because you're going to need them later to reinstall. What it looks like is when you take it out, you're going to see this little connector here. And all you need to do, you're going to take off the male side, just push that tab and this comes out. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. We need to remove these three T27 torque bolts, and that's where the T27 torque bit comes in. Now, when you're taking this off, the reason we're doing this, we're taking off the windshield because eventually we're going to take off the fairing. You want to take this one, your right one, and your left one. Leave the center in because normally when you just take out the windshield, you need to barely loose these and they'll pop right out. But when we take the fairing out, we're going to need to put this one back in. So let's take these out just to loosen them up a little bit. The left and right one come completely out. With the center one, you put it back in, just hand tighten it. Just get it right where it stops turning. We're gonna take the four interfering torque bolts off now. There's two on each side. So you've got your top ones. The top one's gonna be a longer screw and the bottom one's gonna be a shorter one. So when you're reinstalling, make sure you don't get them mixed up. So now it's just taking them off. And we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Now you know why you leave the center bolt in here, because if you didn't, your fairing would fall off. Most people consider that a bad thing. So all you got to do is stand in front of the bike, like I'm doing so, and take this off while holding it. As you pull the fairing off, it'd be a good idea to put a towel or some type of cover right on your fender. And then what you do is, you have to disconnect your headlamp. So all you do is just unplug this like so, and then take your fairing off and put it in a safe spot. Don't get it all jacked up. With the fairing removed, now we're gonna hook up the harness that came with the kit. And what you wanna do, remember this is the one that plugs into your turn signal. You take the male end right here, and then you're gonna plug that into this. It just snaps right in. This part right here is going to connect to your turn signal, and this right here is going to connect to the strip light that we're putting in. So your next step, what you want to do is take this, the one that's connecting to your strip light, and run it through the pass-through hole, just like that. I just pull it out, and, and then that way it leaves this for your turn signal. And then you take that, with your turn signal, with your male end, and you plug that end like so. And all you have to do is put that back on, put your two half inch nuts on there, seal it up, and we'll go to the next step. Before you put the strips on, you want to take some rubbing alcohol, spray it on a cloth, and just wipe it down where you're going to be putting the strips. That way it gets all the dirt and any wax, just make it stick better. Now it comes to the part where we're gonna mark it with a pencil or kind of get our placement. And it's kind of tricky, but based off where I want it, I'm gonna like mark it the edge right there, and then I'm gonna run it 
all the way down to about right here. So what I'm going to do, I knew my wife's makeup would come in handy one of these days. I'm going to mark a, get a grease pencil or anything to that effect and kind of just about right there. And that's my starting point. And so what I'll do now is I'll take that 3M promoter and I'm going to get this, and I already cleaned it with uh, rubbing alcohol. I'm going to take it and rub it all in here. It takes about three or four minutes to dry. Once I'll do that, then what we'll do is take the red backing off this, and then I'll string it all the way down to this lower fairing. Good idea to use gloves on this because, you know, it's toxic. So all you do is you crush at the dot there, you just push in with your thumbs like that, it takes a second and then the adhesive will come out. So again, what I'll do, hopefully it's out by now, just rub it in here on both sides. I'll do the same on the other side. Give it about three to four minutes to dry and that'll help once you remove this backing to stick it on there to hold it a lot more secure. Now what I have to do is peel this backing off and peel it as you lay it down here. So I'll get my starting point about right there. And that makes me happy. And then what I'll do is I'll just run it down the whole way. Just like that. Came out real nice. Hopefully I can be as accurate on the other side. Before I put the fairing back on, I want to show you guys how the wire gets tucked in here. Now this is actually would be easier if you had a second person, you'll know in a second when I put the fairing on, because what you want to do is you get these zip tied and that's where the zip ties that come in the kit are for. Get some good wire management and I'll do that in a second. But what you do is right this last piece, this little corner piece by the outer fairing, this is where the LED strip light's gonna connect in. So the male's gonna go right in here. And then once you do that, and then you put the fairing back on and it should hold. But you definitely want to do some wire management because there is definitely a bunch of loose wires in here. Before we finish up the fairing, the only last step we need to do is plug these things back in. So you're going to take the male from the LED strip light, which is right here, into the female, the thing we installed earlier, and they're just plug and play. So they snap just like that. Then you have your headlight you got to put back on, obviously, or that would be bad. We're going to connect those two and then the last thing is on the opposite side plug and play so now as I stated earlier this little indentation right here I'm gonna go through and tie up because there's a you know, good amount of wire here make it a little bit cleaner and that way when I snap on the fairing and just put it on here right in this groove it'll snap in the wire will be just right on that edge there and then all I have to do is put everything back like we took it off you want to run the four-way hazard flashers with the ignition in the off position for about three minutes to sync the BCM with the new lights. Once we do that, then we'll go through and check all the different modes. And now I got to show you guys how this looks on the bike. Here's my take on these. They're pretty damn sweet. I dig the fact that they have a lifetime LED warranty on them, as well as all the other custom dynamic products that I have on this bike. I like that it's a sleek look and it actually is quite bright. It's cool how they're integrated into the turn signal and switch to amber when you make a turn. While these things aren't going to pave the way with light as you ride, it's definitely a great add-on. The pair's only $130. I think it's pretty well worth it. Now that these are on and his new friends are happy, they can now bust each other's bulbs and talk about who's the brightest and the dimmest. Bad LED humor. God, that was lame. If you like this vid, give it a thumbs up and please share. If you like this type of stuff and other motorcycle content, come check out the channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Be well, and I'll talk to you guys soon.